we're at America Fest 2021. We are visited now by Jackson Anderson. He's visiting here from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, a small town there. And I've actually been there a few years ago. It's beautiful there. So I was talking to Jackson earlier. He's only 19 years old. He's very ambitious. He is looking at going to Florida for his law degree. He actually got a chance to talk with Matt Gates yesterday. How was that? Oh, that was wonderful, actually. So uh, just in passing, so nothing special, like yeah. a meet and greet. But, but no, he mentioned I really, he, yeah, that, you that know, he went to Florida good, State. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so that's a good place to go. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, Jackson is a small business owner. He has a business called Fitness and Strength LLC. He's also a personal trainer. And the reason I actually I was talking to him about his parents, and it turns out in the 80s, his mom was Miss Fitness in Florida, a little far back, but I think that was his starting, uh, maybe like, motion to get going into fitness and he's doing it today. So let's first uh, start. Thank you for being here. Thank Definitely. You. Thank you for having um, me. I want to let them know where they can find you so they can hear that now. So tell us where we can find you. Okay. So I guess the easiest thing right now would be Instagram. It's, it's little, it's not huge, but it's just fitness strength LLC. Okay, perfect. So check that out on Instagram. So tell us what you're trying to accomplish with the business you want to start. Correct. Well, I would like to expand. Uh, okay. First and foremost, I guess every company wants to do that. You have some clothes online, I think? Yes. Yeah, so I'm actually, I have a website right now being created and I would in like love to expand to um, in a very big e-commerce website. Right. So right now it's, it's in the works. I've had a few um, like pop up online stores, okay. but that's one thing I really want to expand. And then I would actually like to get into possibly the fitness podcast industry. Great. Where can they find your clothes that you have online now? So right now I've been doing group orders. So when people contact me, okay. I get um, a, like a large quantity. And after it hits a certain point, then I make an order. As of right now, um, the website's name, and that's not up right now, is going to be EC Fitness and Strength. Okay, so, so we can still put it out there. Okay. So it's EC Fitness and Strength? Yes. Okay, great. So yeah. we can still put that, make note of that. That'll be coming soon. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, is this a first Turning Point USA event for you? Have you been to one before? Uh, no, I have not. All so, right, so this is a big one. What do you think? Yeah, uh, it's great. I, yeah, I can't, like, words can't describe it. Did you travel here yourself to Arizona? Yeah, so I flew. Um, there's only one other person from the chapter in Eau Claire that I'm from. Wow. And he's he's my roommate, so it was great. Okay. And then we're with two others from Alabama, and they're awesome as well. And how about so, who you've met here in Arizona? How's that been? Hey, you know, it just keeps getting better every day. So right. A lot I, of nice people? I, they're all nice. Arizonians, great. and then, you know, from the East Coast to the West Coast, they're yep. all great. Everybody's been, I know, me too. I've met so many people from across the nation. Um, now, Wisconsin, so that's the new one this week weekend but everybody is and in Eau Claire everybody's so nice anyway this is the sweetest town um so we're really happy to have you in Arizona and you uh do you work with Turning Point USA at, at school where you're at now or on campuses yeah so I'm the president I actually had to found the campus um organization two years ago and which campus is that um UW Eau Claire so University of Wisconsin Eau Claire okay I, it was fun. It was interesting though. So I was vice president at the time because there were three people that were seniors and they helped me get it off the ground. Definitely. Uh, they actually tried to cancel us in terms of they got a petition to get us off campus. Oh my. So that was That's interesting. Terrible. It was great. But they didn't great... uh, succeed. No, not really. Okay. Right. Well, I, I shouldn't say not really. They didn't succeed at all. <laughs> Okay, well, that's good to hear. So we know then from Jackson's own experience that if you, um, your kids want to get something started, a chapter on their college campus, they want to get in touch with Turning Point USA. Is there a specific way or does just Turning Point USA, uh, is it uh, the best way or is there a specific way for college kids like yourself to look uh, for help with Turning Point? Yeah, so definitely it depends on your state. I, I can't say or speak for like your representative. Um, mine, I actually didn't reach out to her directly. I reached out to Turning Point. Okay. And prior to that, how I actually got introduced to it was there was a rep at my university uh, that was actually the current rep of Wisconsin. So they just had a switch. Right, so it's not the same one. All right. However, if there is a Turning Point representative on your campus, it doesn't mean that they are, there's actually a club, an organization there so there you have the potential to start one so we want to look them up online i know they have an app turning point usa has an app now you can find that in the apple store i'm sure they have it for um you know all platforms 
and I think they have their events on there as well. So we can look them up online if you guys want to get a chapter started wherever you are. And I just want to say thank you, Jackson, for sitting with us today. We're glad to hear your story. We're glad you seem to be a very bright young man. I'm sure you're going to be doing exactly what you say. We'll find you in the next year, probably another uh, time, another event, and we can catch up and see what you're doing. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you again for having me. Yeah, and have a safe trip back. I know you got a little delay now, but if you have to stay over another day in Phoenix, that's okay, right? Yeah, not bad. Okay, awesome. Have a Merry Christmas with your family. You as well. Merry Christmas. Maybe in the new year. That'd be awesome. Thanks. Thank you.